It was almost dawn when we drove a block from St. Mary's Hospital and left the poor kid on the frozen grass in front of an office building. Jerry Lee carried him from the car, telling him how sorry he was. Then we left and drove to the Cal Neva, parked in their lot and started drinking. By nine, I was drunk again, and by ten, we left the casino and walked to the bank. We emptied both our accounts, but I only had $234 in savings, and Jerry Lee, he had less than $100. While we were in line, I kept thinking about the kid. Maybe he'd been sleeping in the warm bed of his girlfriend's an hour before he died. He might have snuck out her window when he knew he had to leave. Might have been laying there next to her and she was naked and he's about ready to fall asleep. Maybe it was then that he made himself get up and get dressed. Maybe he heard her mom get up and use the toilet. Maybe he kissed her before he left. Maybe he got back in bed with her one last time before he made himself go for sure. I hope it was like that and not the other way. That he was running from something or that he had nowhere to go or that he couldn't go home because things were so bad there. Bad luck. It falls on people every day. It's one of the only certain truths. It's always on deck. It's always just waiting. The worst thing, the thing that scares me the most, is that you never know who or when it's going to hit. But I knew then, that morning, when I saw the kid's frozen arms in the back of the car, that bad luck had found my brother and me. And us, we took the bad luck and strapped it around our feet like concrete. We did the worst imaginable thing you could do. We ran away. We just got in his beat-up 1974 Dodge Fury and left.